Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with tizish.com and on this video tutorial I'm going to show you how easy, how easy it is to integrate MailChimp.com which is the email marketing system into your Tizish website system. All right. So first of all, there's two things you need to know where this gets integrated. Number one, let's go to us. Let's go to one of our client sites. Here we have one of our clients, Robert Mack. You'll see the first place you could integrate this is right here under subscribe by email. It's an easy widget. I'm going to show you how to integrate this. And basically, the whole idea is you're going to have people subscribing by email, which for increased lead generation through your Mailchimp account. All right. And this is the this is the first place. The second place is after your all your blog posting. So right here I'm on an individual article, uh, just a regular blog post. And when I scroll down, you'll see at the end of the postings for, for your Tizish system, you have a big box that says enjoy this post and they could subscribe by email. This will be connected to your MailChimp account by following the, the instructions I show you on this video. So let's just go ahead and get started. Here's what you need to do. First of all, obviously sign up for a MailChimp account. All right, I'm going to use the account for Robert Mack, which I'm doing this exact website on. So here I am. Let's just go ahead and log in. And everything I'm doing here is what you have to do as well. You may not understand how to use this, and that's a that's not what this tutorial is about. This is just straight showing you how to actually integrate it with your WordPress site. So after logging in and creating an account, here's what you have to do: go to lists and then he already has a list created but I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new one just to make this make this understood so here's what you have to do on the left hand side you'll see you'll see a link that says create new list click on this button and then it said it's gonna ask you all these things put create list and then you're gonna have to put in the information so I'm gonna call this I'm gonna call this test list I'm doing this just for the test default name test reply to email test at Josh dot com and then here's the default subject your new update the whole idea is this is just default information you need to put in with your own custom information so um, it's pretty self-explanatory but basically remind people how I got on the list I like to take this exact text that they had you are receiving you are receiving this email because you opted in So something like that, just like it advises you to do. After that, you need to make sure you have a proper address. You, that happens when you automatically sign up. And then if you want to get emailed, if you want to get emailed when people subscribe or unsubscribe, it's up to you. And then after this, uh, people can pick the format. This one could be a good idea. I would definitely have that. And then uh, I'm not going to go into this, but let's just go ahead and activate Social Pro. Uh, that, let's not do that actually now. Let's just keep it simple. So after this, we click on Save and we're almost done there's two more steps after we have our first list created what you need to do is go to forms and now here under forms what you need to do is under this section here see here it's where it says link to subscribe form and, th and then it says or create embed code for small form this is what you need to click on create embed code for small form so click on this link and now here, here's what you need to do. This is the last section. You need to take this, you need to take this posting, scroll, take this whole text, copy and paste this entire text. And what you need to do is open up a notepad document or something. It's something that you could just copy and paste text with. I like notepad. So I paste this here. And you need to ignore all this. It might scare you. When you look at this, don't get frightened. Okay? It's just crazy code that you don't need. Here's the code that you will need, okay? You need to look for it, but it's the exact same thing. Scroll down and look for the part that starts right here that says form action equals, and then it gives you a link, HTTP, etc., etc., all the way between two quotes. So you see how there's a form action equals? It's usually in the same location. So where you see it on my form is where you'll see it on yours, where it says form action equals. You'll see a quotation mark beginning. And then if you follow this whole piece of code, you're going to see a quotation mark ending it. So what you need to do is take the whole code in between the quotation mark after the word action equals, in between the quotation marks, as you see here. So what you got to do is just click on copy, 
and now all you have to do is go back to your WordPress admin panel. Go to your WordPress admin panel. So here I am in the WordPress admin panel, and this is the easiest part. Scroll down now to where it says appearance and click on edit Tizish options. You click on edit Tizish options, and now here. I wouldn't touch anything else, but what you want to do is scroll down to where it says MailChimp URL. Right here, right click and put paste. After you do that, you must hit update. And now your whole site is integrated. It now has the capability to be integrated with having this widget here that signs up properly to your account and with this, after, with this box after all of your blog postings. But one more thing let's actually insert your widget into your sidebar because right now this isn't going to be there necessarily by default so what you got to do is put this widget into your sidebar this is automatically here after all your blog posts so don't worry about it but let's just now go put that into our sidebar so we go back to our admin panel and now you have to go under appearance once more and click on widgets so you click on widgets and now what you're gonna have to do once this loads up is take the widget that we have created a special widget for your Tizish system called MailChimp and all you gotta do is take that widget and put it into your sidebar so you see it already in here right now I'm gonna go ahead and take it out just so you understand how it's not there what you're gonna see are widgets like this what you gotta do is on your left hand side find the one that says MailChimp email sign up take this widget and drag it into your page so I'm gonna put it right there and after you do that, that's all you have to do. You could give it a title if you want, you don't have to. But after doing that, just open it up and click on save and you're done. All right, and now to verify that it all worked, let's go to our actual posting page. Here it is right here, I'm gonna refresh it. And you'll know that it works successful when you do the following. Obviously you can sign up for yourself if you like. But let's say if you don't wanna sign up, just you'll notice that when you hit the sign up button, you'll get a pop-up window this should tell you when you look at the link across the top of the URL that you did it right so see the link here this is the link we pasted and it's just telling you you didn't sign up properly that's how you know you did it correctly alright so now let's do the same thing for for the after the post item and here's after the post let's click on submit and you'll see the same link will come up so that way you know it was done correctly so after this that's pretty much it and what you need to understand is people are going to sign up to your site and when they sign up for email updates and so forth they're going to be going into your MailChimp account found here when you first logged in and uh, that will be found under lists when you click on your list you'll see this one here alright so that's pretty much everything for to, to integrate your MailChimp account into your Tizish website system go to facebook.com forward slash Tizish and let me know if you have any questions like this video, comment on it, and share it with anybody that you can. All right? Well, that's everything. Good luck using MailChimp, and definitely integrate it with your Tizish website system. It's that important. All right? Take care.